and even coming to worship. They're not all fully comfortable, and that's all right. But we will continue to move forward and open these opportunities, and we're able to do that uh, with the, the blessing of the wider church that says, do it carefully and cautiously, but make the steps to do it. And so, uh, welcome this morning to not only our worship, but our first in-person coffee hour again here at the church. Um, you might, uh, if, if some of you have noticed, uh, you know, some people come and spend time at the Memorial, Memorial Garden, others uh, just heard the news that uh, the wildlife in our area have been enjoying digging up the grass in the Memorial Garden. It doesn't look great, but it's part of the natural flow of things. When grubs get under the grass, uh, some other critters come to find them and, and have a feast. And so that's what's been happening. We're attending to it. We're trying to figure out the best way we can do it without uh, having to redo the whole guard, take it all out of there and put it all back in. But we're, we're finding some people that can help guide us and, and uh, give us some good advice. And Mary has been amazing again, stepping into uh, finding people that can give us the, the wisdom that they have to make that work. So we're just mindful of those things, changes, and uh, we'll get those, the damage fixed uh, over time. I would ask us to just be in prayer. We're going to have communion today. And uh, one moment. I, I made a slight adjustment. Last month we started having communion with this little individual cup. Some of you, I know, seem to have a difficulty opening to get the wafer up. So now you'll notice that there's a little flap that I bent up there. That first flap, that gets your wafer. Pull that off and it'll get your wafer out. Don't do it now. <laughs> we don't want it to spill. We don't want you to lose it. And then the second one is that little point there. That part is the one that opens the juice. So the first one is is on top here, the little plastic piece is bent up. The second one is the point. Okay? So if that helps you, I'm, I'm very thankful for that. And uh, the other thing that we realized having communion for the first time in person is that, um, that uh, we didn't get the sort of the instructions effectively um, named. So when it's time to partake of the wafer, and the juice, we will, you will know because it's right there and I will say um, this is the time to partake, okay? So don't open it until that. Once we're at that point in the service, we'll take the time we need. So don't feel rushed and don't feel pushed to get this to happen really fast. We'll take our time and in the midst of that communion, just be thankful for the moment of God's presence with us. So all the mechanics we'll work through, we'll make it happen and we'll help you. If you need help, please put your hand up at that time and somebody, I would ask some, some of the more able body that might notice somebody's hand up, slip over and, and just uh, lend a hand helping them open that if you can. Okay? Thank you very much. I would ask us also to be in, in prayer. We will need some people right now, and uh, while we will have our prayers in general, um, we may not name the specific people at that time. But let us be in prayer today, um, specifically uh, for John Reed. John has been uh, doing video work for us uh, while while uh, George has been uh, recuperating from his surgery, from his hip surgery. He's doing well. He's here. It's so good to have you back. But John injured himself very seriously last. Sunday before the service, on the day before the service, and he's still not up to par to be able to come back and be part of, of helping us in that way. But let's pray for John for the healing in his body. He, he um, broke some ribs, and so he needs uh, to be healed. And uh, for Mary May, she spent some time in hospital, and she's back home, and uh, things are, are evening out for her. But just uh, holding her and uh, mindful of her. 
Are there others that we would name right now that we would bring in our prayers uh, throughout the morning? I know that we have been continuing to pray for um, David, who is a friend of our family. David had uh, three major heart surgeries. The last one, um, he had a time after that where his body uh, lost control. He lost control of his body. He's gained that back, slowly getting better and better. He's back home now, and he's able to walk with, uh, with support. It's amazing to see these shifts and changes in how the body can respond when given the appropriate time and support and care and the prayers that you bring. We also pray for Leticia, who is continuing to walk through this process of, of um, a cancer in the body and uh, not, not fully knowing exactly what's going on, but working with the doctors and entrusting her into God's care. She's a person of faith and we really uh, entrust her to God's guidance and support. And for all the others in our church that we may not name overtly here, but we hold in our prayers. Let us now then turn to the service that we have um, on the screen. All of the words that you need to be part of uh, speaking will be on the screen for us. We pause at the beginning of our service to take a moment to acknowledge that we are worshiping today on this ancestral territory of the Coast Salish people in the Tuolumne First Nation. And we entrust that we may live with respect on this land and live in peace and friendship with its people. A responsive call to worship this morning will be led by Carol, if you would come in and guide us in that. Good morning. Please join us in the responsive call to worship, and as Dan said, it's up there on the screen. The banqueting table is prepared. God calls us to feast together. All we have come from east and west, from north and south, to sit together at the Lord's table. Compassion, love, and grace pour out like fine wine. God's word is bread for our journey. Let us join Christians around the world to share in God's gifts. Let us taste and see that the Lord is good. Now please join us in the singing of Crown Him with many crowns in Voices United 211. If not, look at the screen.
as you are seated, we turn to our morning prayers. Sam will lead us in our prayers today. Let us pray. Eternal God, as we come to your table today, we recognize that here, heaven and earth join hands. Around this holy table, we join with your church, which stretches around the world and across many generations to meet you in our midst. As we remember Jesus this day, unite us to meet those who have served you over 